Hello folks and welcome to another episode. Now if you joined us in the last one you will recall that we introduced the topic of hot spots and we said that this was a skin complaint that is um, presented all too frequently to vets during the summer months and that it is a very painful skin condition and that it progresses very rapidly and so really we want to prevent it ever forming in the first place. So that's what today is all about. How do we do that? First of all we need to remain mindful of the fact that invariably the catalyst for hot spots forming is an irritation and we know that fleas and ticks cause irritation so simply by minimizing the exposure to fleas and ticks we can minimize or prevent hot spots from forming if you need a reminder of how to do that in a safe and a non-toxic fashion and please refer back to our uh, previous episodes in the summer series um, that cover that particular topic. Secondly, we will need to address diet and make wise dietary choices that will minimize the burden of chemicals on the body. Now we know that an undue um, burden of chemicals on the body um, causes a, a suppression of the immune system and so the body is constantly trying to eliminate these toxins through various portals of elimination and the skin being the largest organ is frequently the portal through which chemicals are eliminated and um, when this happens it causes a skin irritation um, often referred to as an allergy and um, this then uh, causes um, scratching and chewing so uh, simply by making wise dietary choices by minimizing the um, the chemical content in food and we know that many of our conventional commercial foods um, have a whole cocktail of chemicals in them to ensure their long shelf life so simply by opting for natural um, food sources that are devoid of, of chemical preservatives such as uh, the uh, range that Fondies offers is a very good place to start. In addition to preventing uh, irritation from ectoparasites and choosing chemical um, free food there are also many many um, natural remedies that you can employ to uh, ensure that your pet's coat stays comfortable and um, and not and uh, in, in a fashion that they are not likely to scratch and bite and cause hot spots so i'm going to share just two homemade recipes with you today the first one being a, uh, a lovely soothing solution of uh, the following ingredients. Number one, rooibos tea. Cook enough um, some rooibos tea, about five to six tea bags in a few liters of water um, and allow that to brew for about 10 minutes or so. Then um, allow it to cool down fully before you add a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar and a quarter of a cup of the uh, Vondi's khaki ball spray. Khaki ball spray we know in itself is a very good flea repellent and um, uh, together with the other ingredients uh, which are soothing and anti-inflammatory will help to soothe your pet's coat. And um, what, what you would do is to place your pet in a bath and to um, use a cup to uh, soak the entire skin um, right down um, uh, through the coat to the skin surface for a good five to ten minutes ensure a good soaking and um, as with uh, any um, um, protocol to reduce uh, skin irritation make sure that the bath is a cool one any hot bath will simply cause more discomfort and therefore more irritation so whenever you're trying to um, prevent irritation and prevent hot spots it's a cool bath in addition to that, uh, we have another remedy um, which is comprised of the wonderful um, herb, it's a South African herb uh, called Buhu. And uh, Buhu is now available as a, um, um, 
a soap scrub and uh, this is also um, something that uh, is available at Bondi's and um, when employed regularly during the summer months will uh, help to uh, reduce irritation. It's a natural anti-inflammatory and so will keep the skin comfortable and um, help to prevent hot spots. So there's a couple of home remedies um, for you to, uh, to employ and I uh, hope you found that helpful. And um, in the next episode, we're going to be dealing with how to actually treat hotspots when they develop, when they've developed um, before you can take action um, and um, just what you need to do to uh, prevent them um, becoming uh, a, a real um, full-blown uh, hotspot with uh, all the pain that goes with it. So uh, stay tuned for that one. And until next week, have an amazing one with your pets. I'm Dr. Jamie. Catch you soon.